certainly poisonous mushrooms inside. now. It's just a little further inside. But there are so many fungi here. They're probably all ordinary fungi, right? Yeah, they won't be happy to see us. No fighting. These are all its family. Although we belong to different species, we've spent a long time living among the fungi. They are very important to us. They can be reasonable, as long as we try to communicate. What should we do? You're the only one who can make it through, right? But you'll need Nahida's power if you want to save that fungus. I've got an idea. Can you teach me how to change into a fungus? You want to transform into a fungus? But we don't have time for growth. Nahida is a god! Changing into a fungus should be a piece of cake for her! Even gods can't bend the laws of time so easily. Then we'll have to enter with the risk of being noticed. We may not be able to avoid a fight. But if spending some of my power will guarantee the safety of you and its family, then I'm willing to try. Alright. You have great elemental power, so you may be able to do it. You will have to use power equal to that which is required to break through the limitations of time. I will lend you the relevant knowledge that I have. It should make your transformation process a little easier. Alright, I'm ready. Changing into a fungus should be quite an interesting experience. Lord of Dendro, this is nothing to joke about. I am extremely serious about this. Hmm? As am I. I'm not choking at all. All right, all right! Let's not get hung up here. If it's really possible to turn into a fungus, then why don't we give it a try now? Okay. Good luck, Lord of Dendro. Wow! You really turned into a fungus! It's actually not too bad. My perspective in this form isn't much different from usual. The unconscious fungus is just below here. Can you all help me determine which one it is? Oh, how do we do that? I'll get close to them while you make your way over from above. You should be able to identify them using elemental sight since they're elemental life forms. Then, all you have to do is repeat the correct answer in your mind. As long as I'm able to see you, then I'll be able to hear your answer. Okay, got it! Let me lure away the fungi up top and make way for you. Alright, good luck, Nahida! Let's go, Traveler! There's a fungus on patrol in the center there. It looks pretty vigilant, so I'd better go around it. in the sentry there. It looks pretty vigilant, so I... I 
It seems they didn't notice me. It seems that fungus won't be moving for the moment. I should hurry and make my way through. This is the spot. There are several fungi here. I'll hide and wait for the traveler to catch up. so tiring to change forms like that. I even used the techniques that it taught me. Seems like its warnings were not unfounded. The power of time accumulates slowly and goes unnoticed. A great price is to be paid if you wish to perform drastic changes instantly. Thank you for everything you've done. All seems to have gone according to plan. Now, we simply wait for it to wake up. Language is not easy. Need a long time. It's okay, I have good news. Let me explain it to you the fungi way. Apocalypse ended? Go home now? Yes. Unfortunately, I've forgotten where home is. I was hoping you still remembered. I... remember. Really? That's great! Home, Dendro Dragon. Dendro Dragon. Ah, yes! The Dendro Dragon! I'm sorry, I just got so excited. I've probably never expressed such emotions before. But yes, our home is the Dendro Dragon. Oh, wait a minute. Paimon's confused. Do you mean the Dendro Dragon as in an elemental dragon? Like Dvalin? Yes, they're both dragons, but Apep, the Dendro Dragon, has been around for longer and has accumulated dense elemental power. But I don't quite understand. Why would you say that your homeland is a dragon? Because we live inside the Dendro Dragon. Uh, uh... The Dendro Dragon. Inside. Very big. Mountains. Water. Trees. Us. There is an entire world inside the Dendro Dragon's body. The Dendro Dragon... It once told us in a majestic voice that once we finally matured, we'd be able to start life in a new world. However, that day never came. Our homeland was the greatest place there ever was before the apocalypse arrived. Paimon's still confused. Yeah, 
Yes, a very good example. It appears that you're much smarter than Paimon. The only difference is that the Dendro Dragon is much, much larger than any Dendro Slime. Wait, then if that's the case, doesn't that imply that the Peb has also been contaminated by forbidden knowledge? Yes, that is correct. What has suddenly made you look so worried, Lord of Dendro? I haven't seen this expression on you before. A pep is the most adaptable life form in the world. The forbidden knowledge should have become a part of its body a long time ago. Which means that if all the forbidden knowledge has been eliminated... Then a big void will also form inside the dragon! I'm afraid so. Its body and soul have probably been in terrible shape for some time now. No wonder I haven't seen a pep for so long. But how did it get contaminated? Was it due to the destruction of King Deshret's civilization? Hmm... But anyway, a pep disappeared and has been gone ever since that time. It's been enduring unimaginable pain all the while. Yes! How could I have forgotten? If the Dendro Dragon fails to hang on, the elemental power inside it will no longer be able to maintain its form, and will all be dispersed. Dendro elemental power of that concentration will cause the rainforest to overgrow. Giant trees will completely block out the sun. Plants and humans will fight over oxygen. Sumira will no longer be suitable for sustaining life. Hey, what about the crystal? Why don't you show it to them and see if they know anything about it? <sighs> yes, I'm sorry. You're right. We don't have time to panic. Have you two ever seen anything like this before? No. Its power feels very familiar. Like something from our homeland, but I don't know what it is. I'm sorry our memories aren't very reliable. It's okay. I'll contact my helpers just as I did before and see if they can locate your other family members. I'm counting on you all. Your info is crucial to us now. Let's wait for their reply again. Though I know waiting can feel unbearable at a time like this. Explain to them that you aren't hostile. After seeing you save it, its family is very grateful to you. Go home, thief. Hard decision. Don't know. They are weak. I worry. If waiting, then I hope. Don't worry. I understand what you are trying to say. Family is very important to us, no matter when we were actually family. It has done a lot to protect this territory and can't help but worry now that it's about to leave. Can you do one last thing for it while we wait? Of course, I can relate to how it's feeling. I need to organize my thoughts as well. Thank you, thank you. Tend soil, food. Don't like... Plant invasion. There are two things that it wants you to do. One is to look after the land that the food is grown in, and the other is to drive away the plants that are trying to invade the area. Soil! There! First! Seed! Here! Paimon understood that! No need to translate! We'll take care of it right away! Thank you so much for your willingness to help. In the meantime, I'd like to tell it the things we experienced on the way here. Sharing knowledge is a habit of ours.
preparation almost complete.
calm down now. But it doesn't seem like there's too much we can do until we receive some new leads. Can you tell us about the Dendro Dragon? We don't know anything about it. Who is it? And what does it have to do with King Deshret? Well, the history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Tevat. Sumeru was a Pep's territory. In those days, the lush rainforest covered the entire nation. Oh, so there was no desert back then? Not at first. That came when a giant spike fell from the sky, turning a huge section of the rainforest into sand. In an attempt to adapt to its new environment, a pep changed color from the emerald green of the forest to the yellow of the sand. No wonder those two elemental life forms are always talking about the importance of adapting. A pep has always seen itself as the master of Sumeru and has refused to recognize the new order that was established. Even now, it probably still holds great hostility toward the gods. However, powerless against the power in the sky, and then the forbidden knowledge many millennia later, it's been unable to stir up any trouble. Conflicts between the two sides are destined to continue until a balance can be found. As far as I know, a pep had been slumbering in the desert, and King Deshret had taken a great interest in it. Maybe this is why a pep was contaminated. I'm not sure what may have led it to become involved, but rescuing it is definitely our top priority right now. The crystal that I have in my possession is probably the key that links the two matters together. Don't you? Family. Like. Do you not like your family? Uh, that's not what Paima meant. It's just that you guys aren't actually the same species. Does that matter? Family likes me. I like family. I. Uh, Paima doesn't quite understand. What it's trying to say is that as long as family members get along well, then nothing else matters. You place importance on appearances, but we do not. We find the experiences, knowledge, and connections we've made to be more important. These are all things that are more reliable than mere external appearances. These are the fruits of time, and the essence of what it means to grow. now? Looks can always change, so what's inside of us is more important. Paima would still follow you around. Wait, would you not be able to recognize Paimon? Oh? Hmm. Understood. Thank you. Still nothing new from the forest. Seems like we won't be able to find your other family members for now. It appears we are out of leads to follow, and if no one knows how this crystal works, then a pep may be in danger. <sighs> Sorry. It's okay, it isn't your fault. I don't think it's a coincidence that neither of you can remember anything about the crystal. Maybe it's because the crystal has a very close connection to forbidden knowledge, which causes memories of it to be unclear. And if that's the case, Finding the other fun guys still wouldn't help us at all. Hmm. 
The Crystal and the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse and Memories. Lord of Dendro, do you still remember the prophecy? Mm-hmm, I do. What about it? The prophecy is a story that connects events of the past and the future. A family member once said that the Apocalypse is a part of us, and that there is value in preserving it. The rest of the family did not approve of its opinion at the time, so it left. Preserving the Apocalypse? Do you mean that there's still some that hasn't been eliminated? That's not very likely. The power of Ermin's soul covers every inch of the land. Did the prophecy say where that family member went? To the limitless depths east of Sumeru. A murky place that no one can return from. Yeah, that must be the chasm, right? But what is it doing there? Ooh. It's impossible to preserve forbidden knowledge, but... What if it can be converted to a different form? I'm sorry if I'm suddenly not making any sense. However, I do think it's possible. Follow me. I'll explain it once we find that elemental life form. Would you care to sit down and... If you ever have... 